Customers of J, uh, K jewelers across the country are complaining about the national jeweler damaging or losing their wedding and engagement rings. And some say when you use bigger jewelry companies, it's risky business getting your precious gems repaired or cleaned. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Mike has the night off. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons explains to us why you may want to choose smaller jewelers instead. Phil Franzine's wife has a diamond studded ball necklace on a unique spiral gold chain and he's been in the works trying to get it fixed. She has a tendency to sleep with some of her jewelry on and then it has a tendency to break. He bought the necklace with a lifetime jewelry care plan from a big box retailer, but that plan did not work for him. Take it in and send it to their jewelry repair um, central location, which certainly wasn't in Fargo. The necklace was sent out, then arrived back to the store three weeks later with the disappointing news that it could not be repaired. The store told him to try somewhere else. To avoid ring and jewelry repair troubles, the secret is to go to a local shop that does the repairs in-house. We don't ship anything out. Everything is in-house. We have three goldsmiths in-house. All work is done right here. A cutting edge says with jewelry repairs done locally, you run into less problems than if a store sends it out to a trade shop, especially for engagement rings. Things can get mislaid, mis uh, placed and all of a sudden it's in the wrong job or they end up taking the wrong stone out or doing something to the ring that wasn't intended in the first place. Local repairs also have shorter turnaround times. Your item is returned within hours or days as opposed to weeks or months. Get it done, get it back to the customer. Two reasons. One, they're wearing their jewelry again and two, you never have to worry about misplacing or losing a piece. Getting back to Phil and his wife's broken necklace, after his unsatisfactory experience with a big box retailer, his jewelry trends will change. He will be going local. Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. A cutting edge also recommends not making jewelry purchases online.